Oh, I have just woken up from another nice sleep in my village house. <gasps> What's this? It seems to be making electrical sounds and lagging up my game quite a lot because I totally programmed that into it. Um, anyway, this is going to be the start of a new series on some command block tutorials that I'm going to have running. This is Triton Labs and the trunks aren't loading because this is a really, really, really big factory that I made using slash fill and then in the new snapshots for 1.8. Of course, um, a lot of this is actually, I, I built all this in 14W10 and 14W8. I, I'm playing in 14W10C, by the way. But, um, anywho, first thing I have to show you, really, really awesome door. Watch this. So when I flip this lever twice because it's in the down position, um, these lev these not levers, um, these iron bars, they're going to re retract, and then this gate is going to lift upwards, and it's going to be really cool. So flip that, then flip it again. Oh, that I still cannot get over how cool that looks. And so I've got a little control panel that I'm going to be setting up up there, but there's nothing up there yet. And so how that door works is got a bunch of clone commands cloning this and then that and then that and then that and then that all the way down to the end of the factory um up into the door position so it looks like the door is actually moving um now i have got an, an entire light system rigged up by this switch of course it, it's actually very laggy sometimes it doesn't work because this thing encompasses two entire chunks or more i'm not sure which but anyway um the only thing that I have in here so far since I've been working on an adventure map you saw in my last video is um, I've got a working conveyor belt and I've got a really pretty cool teleporter um, because I, I just love the seamless teleporting in these snapshots. Look at that. It, it just looks amazing. Um, now um, I've got my conveyor belt over here which is running on a hopper clock cloning two sections that look like this and then I've got a bunch of command blocks under here teleporting um, at entity within a radius of one um, forward negative one to the z-axis so like this look I move see I'm moving um, and so if I come and hold myself a torch um, you can see the torch moves it's a bit glitchy. Here, let me pick out that torch. Work this time, please. Ah! Of course it's not going to work because I'm recording and my mouse pad is flipping out. Ugh. No, nope, no, nope, get out of the conveyor belt. <laughs> there. Look at that. See? That works. It's a bit glitchy with items because somewhere around here it just teleports all the way over there. Um not sure why and it actually works with mobs too so if I summon a villager then it'll work on that too um, and um, that's pretty much all I have now for Triton Labs but I'll be doing all my command block tutorials here I think so here's my little villager um, he's going to have to die after I stop recording but whatever um, Oh yeah, and for some reason I have light flickers, so I just hooked up a command block that says bzzz, and then, yeah. Oh, look, it's a villager on a treadmill. <laughs> Alright, so I guess I'll see y'all later.